Would you rather find out that your first kiss was actually like your long lost sister? Or, or find out that everyone you thought was your friend in high school really hated you and made fun of you behind your back the whole time. Oh, man. Right? That's like well, a like social... If, you know, okay, so if it's, if, if it's my long lost sister. Yeah. That means, did I know she was long lost? No. That's a so heavy... That's, that's big. Yeah. But like high school was sort of like, I, I needed, you know, I, I needed people to like me then. Yeah. And I find out they didn't. Right, because you were popular in high school. So you find out you I did really okay. Mm -hmm. I did okay. You were more popular. Well, yeah. That was yeah. a girl. It's cheerleader. You know what? I'm going to say sister because I don't want to go my whole life not knowing I didn't have a sister. Oh, what's the Pentagon? Pentagon what are I just are realized doing? why they call the Pentagon the Pentagon. Welcome to the neighborhood. Right. Yeah. It's fine. Right. I'm I don't Bob. know about the other shapes though. Like after that though, there's octagon, right. which is eight, but I don't know about I don't know about seven. Is it sectagon? Yes, it's sectagon. Is it, but I always thought it sounded like sexagon. Nine is nine, nine agon. Mm, I don't think it's nine agon. And it just goes up like math that. wizard. Ten agon. Ten agon. Eleven agon. Ten agon. Get a fitting great. Twelve agon. Twelve agon. Yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. Just, Hi, yep. Just, uh, once you get to fourteen, it just kind of circles. Oh, yeah, because there's so many, like, so eventually many times, it's yeah. almost like infinity, like, yeah. where, like, this shape yeah, is, yeah, like, yeah. it just okay, keeps yeah. going. Hey, whoa, hey, ah. hey. Oh, hi. oh how hey, how are you doing? How's it going? Okay. I'd love to invite you to our uh, community event uh, tonight. Welcome to your neighborhood. Uh, meet some of the folks. Maybe have a cookie or brownie or two. Wait. And soft drinks. Who are you? I'm Bob Hansen. You must be John. How'd you know that? Uh, looked you up in the directory. It's a oh. great there's way for people to... There's a directory on us yeah. already? You yeah. just moved in. Welcome to the neighborhood. Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, Bob. This must be the lovely Jessica. How'd you know her name? Well, it's in the directory. What's, What's your name? Bob. Oh, and who are you? I'm your neighbor. Ah. Welcome Which to house Glen are Meadows. You in, so yeah, we just know. a three down. I'm gonna make sure and watch when he leaves. He goes in that house. Sure. I'm yeah. So, we're, yeah. We're city. Uh, we're not. We're not fools. Okay. We ain't some country uh, bumpkins from out here. You know. We know what's up. Well, this is the suburbs. Not really. Country. It's country. Uh, There's grass. We'd love to have you guys tonight. Uh, meet some of your neighbors. You know, really get involved in our new what neighborhood. Are the neighbors, what are they like? Are they nice people? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. This is Glen Meadows. This is. I was born and raised in Glen Meadows. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, so uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a townie. Okay. That's what some people okay. call. It. Some people think that's pejorative, but I. We townies I like it. in my college. They did not have teeth though. So this is tonight though. That's tonight. Yeah, yeah. we'd love to have we you. We can't come. That was fast. That was a fast. Well, uh, uh, we have a housewarming party tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Wow, that sounds it. like yeah. fun. We got yeah, our friends yeah, yeah. coming from the city. What? Go ahead and take that. If plans change. If nothing else oh, is happening, this. if nothing else is happening, then we'll still probably not come. Okay. You know what? We got this thing, but you know, if, yeah, sure. Maybe sure. if falls through, we'll come by. Keep, keep us in mind tonight. All right. Love to have you. Yeah, I just put this back here. The other trash. Okay, yeah, that's a safe so, uh, place. Yeah, it was nice meeting you, Rick. You have a good one. Bob! John. That's okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Still got plenty of people coming. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. It's nice out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Bye. My mom just canceled. I just blew up 72 balloons for nothing. It wasn't nothing. It was nothing. No, it wasn't nothing. Balloons are nice. I like that we have balloons around the house. I don't I don't feel like they have the same effect as like fresh flowers, you know? Like Why they're not? they're they just like for flowers. a party. They're it's... just for a party and we're not having a party, so it's just this really bad reminder that nobody is coming. Even though they said they would come, they said they'd come visit. My mom is a car. She just wants to watch Murder She Wrote tonight on Netflix. She's seen, oh. she's seen all the episodes, but she like, you know how we love Breaking Bad? She loves Murder, She Wrote. That's pretty pathetic that she's gonna pick that rerun yeah. over us. Yeah. So she loves murder, she loves a, t a fictitious t person on television more than she loves me. Like, she might love that fictitious person more than she loves me. Don't mess up your hair. <gasps> That's cool. So would you rather have like your arm cut off like your arm from like your elbow cut off. Okay. In a weird accident. But okay. They, but you get paid like uh, one hundred thousand dollars a year 
in severance Ooh. for the rest of your life. Severance, because my arm was severed. Or, or you, uh, you become best friends with like an older woman. Okay. And she teaches you a lot. Yeah. And she like, she like, she's like your sort of guide. Mm -hmm. Then she asks you to kill her. But then after you kill her, you realize she's you from the future, <gasps> back in time to... I committed suicide? Technically, yeah. That's so crazy. I guess, would you rather have your arm cut off or commit suicide? Hold okay. it right here, hold it right here. No, no, you hold it. I don't wanna hold it because you're gonna... Would you rather clean all the bathrooms Oof. or go to the meetings tonight? I'd rather clean all the bathrooms. Behind like... the toilet. Not just, oh, not just like spray it down with Windex and pretend. Like actually go behind the toilet and wipe it down. I'm always shocked at what gets behind the toilet. I know. Yeah, let's go. Let's check it out. You know. It sucks. We'll leave. Okay. Yeah. Promise. I promise. What? Now it's a deal. We should have like checked out the town before we bought this house. Well, the realtor said it was a good neighborhood. Yeah. And I trusted her. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we saw the house, we just didn't drive around this. Yeah, I saw it online, I did the street view. Now this is just, this is literally driving in a circle. Yeah. Cheers up. Jump. Which one of these people is a psychopath, really? Well, they that say- car, Pontiac, Pontiac, they're definitely a killer. One in five people is a psychopath. Really? And at any given time in the, in the United States, there's 700 serial killers. What? Yeah. I, I might, I might, I might not be, I, I, that's right. Glen Meadow is not only the number one best place to live in the United States, it's also the safest. But we gotta maintain that, guys. Through a neighborhood watch. And it starts with us. And it starts today. Remember the three A's, okay? You gotta ask, you gotta assume, and then you gotta act. John and Jessica! Hey, Rick. It's Bob. Oh. Welcome! Come on down and take a seat, guys. So good to see you. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey. Everyone, this is John and Jessica. They're new to uh, Glen Meadow. Hi. Give them a nice Glen Meadow welcome. It's like you have lost in here. Yeah. Why? Well, how do you mean? What? Thanks for the spoilers, bro. Well, we need the group to work together. And I think the number one thing that we decided as the council up here is like, let's get the ideas of the folks. So uh, we're all gonna take turns. Whoever wants to come up and share your thoughts on how to make this neighborhood watch that much stronger. I haven't blessed myself with a family of my own, so Glen Meadows is my family and you all are my children. <laughs> but I wanna report some troubling news uh, about some recent thefts from my backyard. Um, two pairs of stainless steel Goldman's tongs. <gasps> Three pounds of fat-free ground chuck fat-free meat, one neoprene Kensington grill sleeve, and one 1984 Summer Olympics commemorative bocce ball set. So what I wanted to say was, what makes a community safe? Um, a happy community. What makes a happy community? Community theater. Carol is a little weak and I don't know if she could save me from a rape. I'm thinking about putting a lock on my front door. I haven't had a lock on my front door in 10 years. Who has a lock on their front door? Thinking of buying one. Would it be cheaper to just go on a date? If anyone wants to come by, I'll watch anything with you. We could talk about anything. I'll, I got a bunch of baking supplies. I've been trying to make some new things like uh, gluten-free lollipops. I would like to report a theft of my wife oh, sitting yeah. here today, stolen from me by one of these gentlemen. You know, the young kids are our future, and uh, you guys are raising a bunch of brats. I mean, like. I'm raising your daughter, Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah, you're raising a brat. So I want to start off by saying that I, I think I could stop a rape. <laughs> I would, I almost, I, I would like anyone in here to try to rape someone else. Maybe, you know, maybe now. You know, I'll, I'll just get in there and I'll stop it. Can it be woman on woman? There's no, there's no raping. I think we'll be okay with that. 
Do you want to say sorry for the sex smell? I would like to donate my personal uh, 357 Magnum to the Neighborhood Watch. Uh, I will also note that I am a bow hunter and I do have a tree stand. I would just like to say that John and I are really excited to yeah, be yeah, a yeah, part yeah. of this Real community. Excited. Yeah. Uh, we've been, you know, doing city living for so long and yeah. we're ready to put some roots down. Ready to rob a small town lot. When something odd is going on, usually it's not something physical, but something ethereal. Mother and I have been doing meditations at midnight to try and bring the energy together, but the two of us can't do it alone. Why are you moving out to the birds if you don't have any kids? Yeah, that's suspicious. My dad was 80 when he had me, and my mom was 28. Summer, she was a Sears winter. catalog model. Summer, winter. What are you doing there? Uh, eating dinner. What? Somebody stole my plate. And my table. And my spoons. And my forks. And my whole breakfast nook has been stolen. That's quite a coincidence that you have a breakfast nook when this gentleman just lost Thank his you. breakfast nook. Lost my entire breakfast nook. How, how do you explain yes. that? How, how do you move? How do you lose a breakfast nook? Short of having loses a time worth or stolen. Yeah. How are you, did somebody come with a, a bulldozer and pull it off the back of your oh, house? Oh, you seem to have a lot of detailed information what? as to how that might happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, listen, I don't know how it, oh, uh, yeah, this, you know, we were this guessing. is ridiculous. Can we get a group ohm maybe going on and an ohm? Full of balloons. Lots of party supplies. Maybe everyone could just come over to the house. Yeah. Maybe. Like, a like oh, we're having a housewarming party. Like you guys a party? You, like a dinner party. Like, oh, we're getting dinner now? If you bring dinner for yourself, then you can eat it. Me. Why Cecily is the worst? She's the worst. She's after her mom. You know what? She, you know what she said about you, Miss Elliot, that you did wear underpants one day. Oh, these, uh, you know what, though? We Please. should bring this up about how our teachers are aggressive. Your kid's looking to see if I have underpants on all the well, time. put on some underpants. What I want to do is my own prerogative, okay? And no more I'm leggings. I'm not one to be no, put inside of a box. Off, and no leggings anymore. Put on some good... I don't have all okay, good okay, jeans. Okay. Some good jeans and a belt. You look like a plumber. You guys are just a bunch of mean middle schoolers okay, okay. that right, you're just right. looking at the all new right. people and you're just trying to make them feel bad like they don't fit in. You know what? I want to fit in. I just want to... Come here. Come here. What? <laughs> snap me. Snap me. Snap me. <laughs> Were you not kicked out of Buncher's Hardware for stealing nails? I needed those nails and they're inexpensive. I thought I'd pay them back. Have you paid them back? I'm making birdhouses and I'll pay them back with birdhouses. What? Okay, yeah, we're gonna she go. She wants to go. She wants to go. question about the Italian job. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you. Can I sleep in between the two of you in your joint bed? Yeah, what you're wearing? What? Is that what you're wearing? Yeah. What? Why are you saying yeah? Like that. Why are you asking what I'm wearing? I just want to make sure that's what you're wearing. Yes, yeah, what I'm wearing. Oh, it's the same thing you wore to the meeting. No, I changed my undershirt. It's getting a little sweaty. I can't believe no one came. I feel like we just had this experience earlier today, like the big hype and then the letdown. Yeah, twice in one day is really hard. That's a lot. That's a lot. <sighs> Oh. It's Rick. He just hurt you. What? He just hurt you. He heard what? The door. He didn't hear me. I'm as I'm as graceful as a cat. Hello. There's one guy that I did not want one. to come. One, one, him. Even, even though him. he said he was gonna come and he was the only one who said he was gonna come, he was the only solid yes. But I thought he was just being nice. Like he was like yeah. being the leader like to motivate other people yeah. to come. This is not nice. No. I got you, got you a present. It's like, it's like 
sitting at the dork table in school in the lunchroom. I know. You sit down there and you're a dork. I know. And you didn't even know because you didn't even know it was a dork table because you just started school there. Did you sit at the dork table? Maybe! It's one of those uh, Japanese uh, robot dogs. When we were dating, I asked you a few questions. Like, are you going to keep anything from me? And never once did this come up. John? Jessica? You know, there's some things I haven't told you either. Like what? I don't know, you keep secrets from me too, don't you? Some, very few. Guys, I, I, I can see in there. Do you prefer psychopaths over some <laughs> Psychopaths every time! I prefer them every time to anything. <laughs> oh Although sociopaths are pretty cool. I'll just leave the, leave the present. Hope you guys enjoy. Do you need this, this gift? Yeah, let's get this gift off the porch, because it'd be rude not to accept a gift. Right. Okay. See ya. Perfect. 